ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருக்குது தாத்தால் எட்டரை மணிக்கு இவ்வளோ யங் மியூசிஷியன்ஸும் தெரிவாலும் வந்திருக்கு தட் ஷோஸ் தி அன்ஸ்டாப்பபிள் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் தட் சென்னை ஹேஸ் ஃபார் மியூசிக் அண்ட் தி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் இட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஆன் தி அனலிட்டிக்கல் சைட் இல்லைனா ஆல் தீஸ் டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ் வுட் பி கம்ப்ளீட்லி இரெலவெண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் நாட் தேர் டு பி பார்ட் ஆஃப் இட் well when shashi uh, said that we should be talking about practice methods i really sort of went back into memory lane and i said what is it that i'm going to say and what is it that i'm not going to say because yedha solradhe yedha vidradhe there's so much that i'm actually i have to confess i'm confused as to what i'm going to say but still i thought let's begin somewhere and cover something in this short session and my mind mind went back to uh, my childhood and i thought let me think of the first sense of or bayam varum le ho medela paadanama the mele kuda vanda aathu kara vande thedirne inga appa vande aruna வா உட்காரு அந்த நேரு சமான கீர்த்தனை கொஞ்சம் பாடு அப்படின்பா எனக்கு அப்படியே உடம்பெல்லாம் நடுங்க ஆரம்பிக்கும் ஏன்னா எப்படி பாட போகிறோம் அவ்வாறு கேட்டுருக்க ஏன்னா எவ்ரி திங் ஒரு ஒரு நோட்டும் ஒரு ஒரு சப்தமும் அந்த கேட்குறவா வந்து தேர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்கோட்டினைஸ் இட் அண்ட் தேர் கோயிங் டு மேக் அன் ஒப்பீனியன் ஸோ ஐ ராதர் விஷ்ட் ஆஸ் அ சைல்டு தட் தே ஹேவ் நோ ஒப்பீனியன் ஆஃப் மீ ராதர் தென் தே ஹேவ் அன் ஒப்பீனியன் விச் இஃப் இட்ஸ் நாட் குட் அண்ட் இஃப் இட்ஸ் பேட் வாட் வில் ஐ டூ அப்படின்னு இந்த ஃபியர்ஸ் வந்து கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி வந்துட்டுருந்தது இப்போ ரொம்ப சரியா போயிடுதா அப்படின்லாம் கேட்காது இப்போ இப்போவும் அந்த ஃபியர் இருக்கு இத்தனை வருஷம் கழிச்சு பாடினா கூட பாடுற அன்னைக்கு காத்தால ஒரு மாதிரி ஜுவன உடம்பெல்லாம் ஒரு சுண்டிங்க ரத்தம் எல்லாம் சூண்டி உடம்பெல்லாம் அப்படியே எப்படி இல்லாமல் இருக்கும் எங்க ஹஸ்பண்ட் சாயிரம் வந்திருக்காரு நிஜமா சும்மா சொல்லப்படாது அவருக்கு ஒரு ஒரு பெரிய ஏன்னா ஒரு மியூசிஷியனோட இருக்கிறது வந்து ஒரு சாமானியப்பட்ட வேலை இல்லை பிகாஸ் கச்சேரி என்னை கட்டல சாதாரணமா ஏதாவது கேள்வி கேட்பாரு சக்கர எந்த டப்பால இருக்கு அவ்வளவுதான் என்ன எதுக்கு இதெல்லாம் கேட்கலாம் வந்து இருக்கும் சோ எதுக்கு சொல்ல வரேன் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் எவ்ரி டைம் இட்ஸ் லைக் living two lives actually you know because you're performing and either. so i'm going to start by asking these two young musicians what i spoke about my fears now are you going to speak about yours and disha you go first what because now you get specific ore area la end area la unakku question irundhathu how did you get an answer for that apdi ne edavadhu ore instance solle da arabi <clears throat> Hello everyone namaskar First of all I would uh, like to thank Shri Patisakri Swami Sabha Shashikiran ji and uh, of course Vidushi Shrimati Aruna Sairam for inviting me to be a part of this very interesting session um I would like to think that I'm still very young <laughs> and uh, have a long way to go many things to learn but still having an opportunity to share some of the things i have experienced over the last few years it's a wonderful opportunity and uh, thank you very much anama thank you shashi ji um i think uh, as arunama said all of us and the kacheri ko porum pombode and aatha elundukumbode oru oru anticipation oru we have so many conflicting feelings on the day of a concert there is an excitement there is a little bit of fear hopefully the level of fear goes down as you keep performing year after year um and there is also there is also the feeling of the anticipation or the expectation of the audience that when they come we will be able to sing we will be able to sing we will be able to enjoy it when they come back for the next one idella 
I don't think any musician can ever let go of these feelings. Um, but in that context, I think since we're talking about practice methods today, I think uh, having had the opportunity to learn from great gurus such as late Sri T. S. Subramaniam, Sri P. S. Narayan Swami Sir, Shri Vadachari, I think all the lessons that they ingrained in me, especially as a youngster now in the TRS Kamakita I think it has really stood me in good stead and kind of helped me to be prepared for any eventuality. Our uh, Vandu, since, since I learned from him at such a young age, I think uh, I kind of grew up with him. So some of the values that he instilled in me uh, and the love he instilled in me for music, so that kind of overcame any other feeling of, of fear or any doubts that I might have had. So Kachiri Lokaram Bodhar, but above all that, there was always a passion for music which he instilled in me. And uh, luckily that kind of has grown over the years. So above any other feeling of fear, I think that has helped me kind of overcome any other feelings. And, and at the end of the day, I still, you know, even though we may have that apprehension of going on stage, and the, I think for all musicians, it is the passion for music that keeps us going. And Arunama Sodhana Madhuri, especially, maybe slightly controversial, but especially for a woman, especially for a married woman, woman with children, going for kacheris, practicing, all these things are huge challenges. My children are all grown up. So, I think Karuna must bring a little bit for, for tips on that because since I'm also a student, I would like to take her advice as well as to, you know, as a woman, how to deal, we seem, I seem to be juggling so many balls all the time. So given the stress of, especially during the season, because just now, for example, Karthala na karamurche padwa gati nindra na, yam bayam andu sorra, amma kacheri poha da So, you know, how to kind of steal yourself and how to kind of Say okay, I'm going to compartmentalize my my world, especially during the season. Now, and then, I'm going to switch off everything else and go for the kacheri and, and give it my 200%. Uh, I think Arunama is one of the best people to kind of uh, help me and others like me, or, or others who will be like me in the future. <laughs> See, I think detach particular the number nalla the detachment in the modern parlance, in psychological terms, you can say withdraw yourself or emotionally detach yourself and so on. Number age old system rumba and how we share solidka. Other than the party got a solar marine, the Kurana solar, Sarana Gati, Ada, the Bahavane, now Kapati than the Koran the Vadana Portugal, the Kadia, the army lama, Volhan, other than that. Number none of us is in this place. So, yes, as a mother, number Buddhist Jadavaka, Adana say, you know. At the same time, we should also remember that number Illa Nala on the Porta, the Vandu Porta, Adi Edor Karnat Nala Porta, the Vadana Porta. In the Vivego Maradi is in a solid alarm, Parade or Rath, Yanakumara, the Murkumara, but upper pen number the Yabang of Vichikar the Nala. Adanala and the Kacheriki Pombo, the Bahaman, Nikuna, the Porta Pathko, Arama Pathko, Ava Pathko, Arama Pathko, our Porta Yaki Pama Pathko, and now we put your Kacheri party to Undure. After in a Bahaman kind of book, because I think it's, it's so important to keep your burden, you know, at, on some, at somebody. It's just a question of unburdening yourself. Unnecessarily, we carry on all the burden on our shoulders. We don't need to do it. And then we also have this victim mentality. Oh, I'm doing this, but nobody appreciates me. So, but then my husband and husband, who asked you to take it first in the first place? 
uh, I wish I could be as practical as he. But I tell him, you're not going on stage. I am the one who's going on stage. <laughs> so it's not an easily solvable problem. But yes, detachment, the Deva Bhakti Ma. Nama Karnataka Sangeetha Thikku Bhakti Venda, Adi Venda, Idi Venda, Idi La. I don't subscribe to it. I'm so sorry, I don't. Because the content is bhakti. And what is bhakti? Bhakti is not uh, playing only to Rama or Krishna. That is one kind of bhakti. But just subjugating yourself and offering yourself at the feet of something is bhakti itself. It could be anything. It could be music. It could be anything. But namba periva and the Rama Krishna Ravata Kulana and the music of Potata. Aprina and the Vata becomes sacrosanct. Then that has a meaning, and that has, the faith you invest in it is very important. You know that there is this um, thing that Kabir or a bhajan owner said. Recently, I was uh, somebody was singing it and explaining. He says that uh, uh, in Hindi I can't remember the words, but he says na my mandir mein ho, na my masjid mein ho, na my andar ho, na my bahar ho. Par tum vishwas karte ho, us vishwas mein mein. Which Vishwas me me. And the faith la da Swami irkar. So and the faith da nambada illa riyo irkar dhu. Or gacheri na paana vikkar dhu. Or Karnatic music na unna paana vikkar dhu. Or or Kirtana Shakkali Raja na paana vikkar dhu. Yenna me faith da. Or liya. Adana na faith la da do na we can focus. Definitely focus. Sorry it was a long answer but I thought it had to be said so I said it. Shall we move to sit? Sid, is there something you want to say? Yes, uh, first and foremost, again, I uh, echo everything that Nisha said. My sincere gratitude to this amazing Sabha for having me, uh, Shashiyana, for having me. And it is an honor and um, very exciting for me to be having this conversation with you at Um So thank you, and thank you all for being here. I, I think I think back to when I first started singing and, and uh, starting this journey with this amazing art form of Carnatic music. And my initial, I would say, fears and curiosity came from trying to understand the voice as an instrument, trying to figure out what my voice was and how to best use it. I think on a very subconscious level, when I was very young, um, just really curious about the different things that my voice could do, finding out what my own identity through my voice was, uh, and how to properly take care of it. Um, so taking that forward, I, I think I was blessed uh, in having an amazing guru with my mother, Lata Asiram, who really emphasized, and yeah, give her a hand Who really emphasized open-voiced, uh, full-throated singing. Um, especially as a young child, having this instilled in me really allowed me as I grew older to take these subconscious kind of lessons that she had taught me and uh, internalize it on a more intellectual level and, and really understand the power that comes with the voice. Uh, something that I understood as I grew was as a, a vocalist, our, our instrument is not only the voice but our full body um, and the fact that uh, it's not just what happens here, but how breathing involves the whole body. Uh, and I think um, deep breathing, different techniques were things that I picked up. And I think through this process of understanding how to properly breathe when I sing and, and uh, how to use the different spaces in my body to let air resonate and let my voice really project, I understood what my instrument was. And this fear of, oh, is am I singing the right way? Uh, am I is my voice um, too different from what I hear sometimes? Is that those fears kind of slowly went away. But my question for you, Adarama, is um, what are the different vocal techniques or breathing techniques uh, that you have employed to really feel like you are a master of your own voice? When you say that you breathing technique, you can say that you can say that. Sure. Uh, I think for me, the biggest, most basic thing was deep breathing. So, figuring out how to, one posture, sit up straight, and these are very let's, fundamental. Let's do one thing. Yeah. Can I students sit up? Sure. 
let's make it a participative thing sure so nee vande porumaya sonna na whoever wants yaar adala who would want like to participate so long all of you oh great so avade nee sollu sure so i'll stand yeah please please so on a very i'm wearing a pretty loose kurta so this might be a little hard to see but uh <laughs> The first fundamental thing that I, I I figured out was breathing deeply and filling your diaphragm. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit. So so you push out with your diaphragm, and you basically allow for a huge amount of air that you can access when you sing. That allows for a free flow, so the voice can really move. So uh, an exercise that I've been doing for years that I do every day when I do akara sadhana in the morning. is basically do this deep breathing breathe in through your nose push out your gut and then i would sing sa uh basically until the air leaves your your diaphragm and then repeat it repeat this for 15 minutes we won't repeat it for 15 minutes now because we don't have that time but um if you guys just want to do it once with me so breathe in through your nose and then sing sa we'll take this as the sa sa and if you do it enough times these things start to, and i think the basic concept behind it is basically allowing this type of deep breathing to become second nature so i just find the find the nimsham and avu anje thara padla sure so <laughs> so five times pandra breathe in fill your stomach and then as you breathe out you sing a in on that sa no okay ma Breathe in. Then breathe in again. And one quick note, right before we do it, one more time is if you fill up, if you breathe in deeply enough, not only does your diaphragm open up, but there's a cavity in your chest, which is basically just a big space where air can resonate. And if you take a big enough breath and it's open, you should feel your chest open up as well. So let's try it one more time. take the same idea of cavities forward there's also cavities in your face that um are basically again spaces where air can and move and as vocalists um breathing in air i think is our biggest uh ally and instrument that we can put to use so um if you have these spaces open in your face as well what happens is the air resonates and just allows for a full projection of the voice so um can i just do a quick example of yeah so um when that space in your face is closed up you feel a uh, a lack of any um resonance and vibration over here and over here and the sound is somewhat closed as well so i'll just do an example of thinking in that way so this is without me breathing um and opening up these spaces mm na 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 that's with it closed and then with the open ta la na so basically the one simple thing i do is i open up the face you you basically stand at attention both with this part of your body and then you also alert your whole face in a way that you almost look like you're smiling and this works in two ways one it allows the air to breathe and you let the audience uh feel like you're really happy when you're singing <laughs> So um this really I think for me what it did it eliminated any feelings of uh, tension when I was singing mm-hmm. and it uh, over the years allowed me to feel like um I was a uh, really kind of opening up my music in many different ways physically and then that also turned into a mental exercise very good thank you thank you so much I don't know if you noticed but ninga anje daraga paadine illiya முதல் தடவை சா சொல்லும் போது அது ஒரு மாதிரி வீக்கா இருந்தது நீங்க அஞ்சாம் தடவை வரத்துக்குள்ள அப்படியே இந்த ஹோல் ரூம் வாஸ் ரெசோனேட்டிங் வித் தட் சா ஐ ஆம் ஷூர் யூ வுட் ஹவ் ஃபெல்ட் இட் சோ 
தட் இஸ் தீக்ரெட் தட் அந்த காத்து மூச்சு காத்து தான் நம்மளுடைய உயிர் நாடி நம்மளுக்கு உயிர் வாழ்றதுக்கே அதுதான் உயிர் நாடி பிளஸ் பாடணும்னா பிராணவாயு தான் தட் இஸ் ஆக்சிஜன் இஸ் குரு தட் இஸ் த மெட்டீரியல் யூ ஒர்க் வித் சி சம்படி ஹூ வீவ்ஸ் அ சில்க் சாரி ஒர்க்ஸ் வித் சில்க் ஒர்க்ஸ் வித் ஜெரி somebody who makes jewelry works with diamonds or gold but what do musicians work with they work with air in the body that is what even for instrumentalists it, it instrumentalists if they have to play well they have to breathe well they have to feel light they have to feel in sync with themselves and the atmosphere appo tha and the music correct a varum பாடுறவாளுக்கு கேட்கவே வேண்டாம் தட் இஸ் யுவர் ரா மெட்டீரியல் தட் இஸ் கெட்டிங் கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு மியூசிக்கல் வேவ்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்ஸ் அவுட் ஸோ அதனால ரொம்ப முக்கியம் அது ஸோ நீங்கள் சில் மீன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு வந்து மை சஜஷன் வுட் பி ப்ளீஸ் இஃப் யூ ஃபீல் தட் யுவர் சவுண்ட் இஸ் நாட் கமிங் அவுட் த வே யூ ஹாவ் இட் இன் யோர் ஹெட் நம்மளுக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் வி ஹாவ் அ கன்செப்ட் இப்படி இருக்கணும் அந்த சப்தம் அப்படின்னு மனசில் நல்லா இருக்கு பிகாஸ் வி ஹேர்ட் குட் மியூசிக் but if it's not coming out please approach a voice teacher or a yoga teacher or somebody who can teach you how to connect your breathing with your singing okay so that's the first suggestion i would like to make